Hello, my name is Steve Miller. I'm the Sitefinity Commerce Evangelist. And I want to show you in this video a donation widget that we've created that really shows you how you can use the Sitefinity Commerce API and create custom applications here. So here is our sample. Uh, we're giving you everything, the code behind, the resource files, everything here in this little project. You can download and do this on your website and create a donation button for your website. To get started, let's go into Visual Studio. What I have here is the Corporate Starter Kit. It's just a plain old simple site, Finity Web application, but it already has some themes and data. And this is part of the SDK. First thing I need to do is go in and add in a project, which is our donation project here. And once that's added, we need to add in a reference. And let me add in the reference here. That yeah, looks correct. Okay, so this is all that you really need to do to Visual Studio. The project's been added. The reference has been added. Uh, the one thing I'm going to do, though, is I created a custom CSS file to kind of style this widget a little bit. And I'm just going to go into App Data and go down here in the Global. And let me just paste this in here real quick. That way this, uh, this widget here, this donation widget, looks pretty good. Let's build this. And why this is building, let's go ahead and start it. Okay. So while this is starting, this is going to bring up the Sitefinity Corporate Starter Kit. But I'd want to take you into the back end here and show you some of the code that we've written. And as you can see, this is pretty simple. This is uh, should be kind of common if you're creating your own application here with Sitefinity. Uh, there's really nothing special in here. But where it gets really interesting and where we extend or, or, or use the API at is down here in the area called the add to cart button underscore command. And her, here we're using the Sitefinity API, specifically the shopping cart and add item to shopping cart. And here's where we can put in the product, the price, and things like this. And this is what is adding in a user defined price for a donation. So our donation widget is going to have a drop down that consists of predefined donations but also a custom donation. Alright, so this is our quantum site. Again, this is the starter kit here, uh, the corporate starter kit. And it's an awesome site and you can go into products, you can kind of look around, play around. But let's go into the back end of site finning because we need to add in this widget first. And I'm also going to open up a tab here for the front end. Okay, so in the back end, in order to add in a widget to a site, you need to go into the administration and the settings. And we need to go into advanced. And again, this is where you're going to be adding the widget so it shows up that you can drag and drop onto a page. We need to go into toolboxes, page controls, sections. And in sections are all of our controls that we have here for Site Infinity, including a folder in here called e-commerce. And in e-commerce, we have tools. And these are all the widgets that you can drag and drop onto a page, all the user controls here that you can drag and drop. So we're going to create a new one, and we're going to call this, uh, well, the control COR. Let's go ahead and go into the back end. We need the namespace to put in here. And we also want to put in the class name. Here it is. Okay, and then let me just add in this one more time. And for the name, this defines the programmatic name of the item. So that is donations widget. All right, and the title, uh, let's just call this donation widget and a description uh, add a donation to my website all right all looks good nothing else really needs to be added let me go ahead and click on save so now we got our widget defined in the back end so the next step we need to do is create a product and we got to start off first with product types and here's all the product types that we have in the corporate starter kit I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this one donation and this is just for donations. Now here's where we use the services or non-shippable product donation uh, product type. We do not want a shipping screen to show up at the end of checkout. And these are some custom fields. All right, and that's all you need to do for adding a donation product type that is going to be non-shippable. It's a service, 
Let's add in a product. These are all the products that come in the back end. But I'm going to add in a donation product type. And let's just call this donation. And put in a description. My donation text here. I'm going to leave the price at zero dollars. We're going to put a SKU in here called donation so we can get some reporting. And that's it. That's all you really need to do to add in a product. So now that we have the product type added and we have the product, we need to go into pages. We need to create a page called Donate that we can drag and drop this donation widget onto. And while that's happening, you can see our donation product shows up there. All right, and let's go into pages and let's just call this Donate. And let's select a template. I'm going to select the corporate quantum. All right. So we got our page, and now let's go into the e-commerce, and we should have a widget here called Donation. There it is at the very bottom. There we are. And what I like about this donation is that you can accept a donation that's predefined and even put in a text for ideal donation, or you can put in your own particular amount. And where these values are coming at here is just in the ACX file. This is how we're defining them. Again, I like putting in the text ideal donation that if you're a nonprofit, this is maybe what you're looking for. Let people know that's your ideal donation. Now we need to link this to the actual donation product. So we'll just go in here and do a quick search for donation. And now that we have this linked up, when you click add the cart, you'll at least know what product that we're adding it to. That's all that needs to be done here to this donation widget. Let me go back here to our quantum site. Let me refresh the home page. We now have a page called Donate. And, and here's our donation widget. As you can see in this drop down, we have the predefined values. And then you can also say other. And this is what I like. I can leave $5,000 or $10,000, but I'm just going to leave $19.99 here. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my cart. Let's click on the shopping cart and see what it looks like in here. And there we are, $19.99, got a donation. And let's go ahead and click on checkout because, uh, again, what I like are these product types that this will not show a shipping step that needs to be completed. It goes from billing to payment. So I hope this uh, video was helpful for you that uh, kind of showed you a few things that we can do here with Sitefinity, how you can create a custom application. When you get a chance, uh, check out our Quantum Starter Kit here. Download it and uh, download the donation widget and have fun and play around. Thanks very much for your time.